हाउ टू पब्लिश दिस टॉपिक में अपेयर सिंपल टू मेनी रेजिडेंट्स आउट देर आई हैव डिसाइड टू मेक ए स्मॉल वीडियो ऑन दिस बिकॉज मेनी जूनियर्स यूज टू कॉल मी लास्ट देर डाउट्स हाउ टू पब्लिश इट इन द जर्नल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई ट्राई टू क्लियर आउट द फ्यू डाउट्स that i used to have when i was a medicine resident uh, medicine resident what are the things can that can be published first is the case report any interesting case or a common disease with a rare finding can be published case series a group of around 5 to 10 uh, disease of the same syndrome with varied outcomes can be published for example a case series of around 10 nephrotic syndrome or 10 case of lupus nephritis what was the outcome can be published out of 10 lupus nephritis three presented as nephrotic syndrome two patient presented as nephritic syndrome age group these kind of comparison can be made and this can be published a review article this is very little bit difficult compared to publishing a case report or case series review article have to be on a topic where there is no clear cut literature which is already available for example in cases of uh, fungal infection post transplant patient even for renal tubular acidosis for this you have to study various journals or books from there you have to take the specific points and overall you have to compile the entire topic related points and you can submit to any of the journal the thesis which comes under the research work or it can be in the letter to editor most of the time a resident can be publishing this four which is more common where it can be published it can be published in a indian journal or international journal there are paid journals where we have to pay the journal for this publication and there are free journals where just we have to submit if the uh, our submission is meeting the publication criteria they will publish there are index journal but this is non index journal we can publish in any of these this is a very simple question when i was a medicine resident since i have seen most of the journal article in the form of pdf during that time i used to have doubt how we will submit those thing in that format like in the A separate paragraph they used to give with the image fitting in the particular paragraph but actually we have to submit them in the word document the arrangement the placing the images and all the journal site will take care of i will show you as an example over here where i published a case series so this case series we published in an indian journal of vascular surgery because the case was related to the dialysis vascular access this was the central vein stenosis in hemodialysis patient this we published during the uh, covid pandemic here as we see in this article there is a abstract then subsequently there is a introduction i was the correspondent author for this article introduction of the case report then there is a discussion image then your tabular column followed by conclusion then few disclaimers and a reference how we submitted since that case was related to vascular access we decided to publish in a, any vascular journal first we searched a journal which used to, which publishes vascular related things so in this we found this indian journal of vascular and endovascular surgery once we go to the journal site here most of the journal will have that in the home page only submit a manuscript in this we have to go i had already made a login id and password here we have to mention as author and login 
and once we log in here there will be multiple columns where we have to submit new manuscript in this if we are going to submit a new manuscript there will be lot of checklist posting i have you read and verified the author instruction each journal will be having its own set of author instruction what are the things can be published what is the word limit how many diagrams are allowed how many tables are allowed accordingly you have to submit it you can go through the question which are mentioned over over here and once we complete this question then we will be taken to the submission site here we have to upload the documents then we have to type the title of that article and abstract we have to submit in the microsoft word document then we have to mention the author email id and finally we can review and submit it so here is the area for submitting the word document i will show you how we published see this is how i have made first there is a cover letter this is the cover letter to the editor in chief submission so for each article there should be a cover letter then subsequently for main manuscript we have made a word document then image we take it in a camera then convert into a photo file then we add it in the microsoft word document this were the 15 cases with the central venous stenosis then title page table these were uploaded separately after uploading from the journal site we will get the email your article will be taken for review first they will check any uh, mismatch in the number of words size of the file uploaded those kind of gross things they will first check if it fits for submission they will send the article for peer review peer to some check and if the article or and the contents suits or if the journal group thinks this information is not there in the literature previously or if the or if the journal meets the standard for publication they will publish within 3 to 4 months and the time period varies from journal to journal in between during the review process the reviewing people might have lot of queries why this case was managed like this you will be getting mail on and off if the queries you have sorted out after the queries are sorted out they will publish it so this will be reflecting in this home screen only see man manuscript requiring technical modification manuscript in withdrawal request manuscript requiring revision this you can see in the home page so this is one example how we publish the case series another one is we have published one case report also this was also a case of a joint aneurysm in a av fistula patient we have titled this as a hulk hand and here also the the article goes like this there is a background abstract we have submitted background then details about the case and this patient had a very big hand secondary to the av fistula outflow obstruction subsequently how it managed we have discussed and what was the important point is like uh, this case was having a mega fistula which was uh, rare and uh, in the literature there were one or two case publication was there so we submitted it and it got published also and this article we published in indian journal of clinical medicine again if we go to indian journal of clinical medicine you can publish in any journal which is related to your case report case series or the research article so again it will take to similar journal home page here you can see there is a column for submit a paper hmm. 
here you can see the if we click this site we will take into the submission site similar to the previous example i have shown and here these are all the author guidelines you can see what are the question what they can publish what are the article types what are their policies what are the things we have to uh, declare it <coughs> ethical committee concerned reporting guidelines everything is mentioned over here you have to go through this first they can publish original article review article case report for each uh, thing for case report they will be mentioning the number of words number of diagrams allowed this is mentioned in guidelines of each particular journal you can go through it and submit it most of the indexed journal they ask for a ethical committee clearance before the publication and uh, here there is a almost all the details will be mentioned in the side how much plagiarism is allowed so here also after we submitted the article there were few queries from the review team why this case was managed like this once we uh, mailed them back regarding their queries then finally it was taken for publication and it got published so this is how you can publish and in the next video i will show you how we published our thesis in the international site european journal of vascular access that i will show in a subsequent video